we forgot to look up yeah and we went this way mm -hmm. like you saw with this woman yes abigail mm. yes like you also see yeah hannah did mm -hmm. when mm -hmm. every end stopped working for her she ran, she ran into the temple mm. and cried to god mm. so it calls us to be prayerful mm. Hello, hello, hello. Greetings in the name of our Lord Jesus Christ. I trust that you are well kept of the Lord and I am delighted once again to come to your screens so that we can have enriching conversation as we learn and unlearn, as we get to inspire one another to be that which God has called us to be. And this evening, as is our custom is to encourage one another to just look up to God and see what God is calling you to become and start becoming. You start moving. We said that it does not have to be clear. The journey, the, 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 the purpose does not have to, you do not have to have the end picture. But when God says move, you start moving. And you allow God to shape you, to mold you to his best design of you. And therefore, to, co to, 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 to continue with where we had left from this evening, I want to welcome my lovely mama. You're looking so phantomagogious. So <laughs> oh, really, thank you. Yeah, you very colorful, beautiful. Mm. Mm, like mm, a mm. rainbow. Oh, yeah. Peace. Karibu sana, Pastor Miriam. Let's let 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 uh, we were getting deeper and deeper and uh, I can't wait to hear what God has deposited in your spirit mm -hmm. tonight so that we can learn uh, some of the greatest, greatest lessons that we can draw from this incredible woman. But before we get into that, how are you? I'm well. I thank God um, I'm waking up every morning with a new feeling, feeling better. Wonderful. Wonderful. Yes, feeling better and mm -hmm. learning mm -hmm. to know that God is in control. Mm -hmm. Yes, regardless of the weeds that are blowing, mm -hmm. the storms and that are raging, mm -hmm. God is still in control. True. Yes. True. Mm -hmm. And if I am to pick up from the last statement that we were, or the last thing that we were looking at in our last episode, mm -hmm. we were asking ourselves a very important question mm. that in the midst of, of situation and circumstances that we as women find ourselves in the family setup or in our relationships, uh, in our marriages, and we find sometimes the head uh, has gone out of the way and probably uh, the end, as we foresee, may not be the best or may not be very wise. What is the position of the woman then when they find themselves in that situation? Because, again, we are kingdom-minded women. We are women who are submitted to God, and God has called us to submit to our authorities. And that is the man that he has placed in our lives. And therefore, we don't want to come out as if we are telling women, uh, you have to thwart every decision that the head of the home gives as long as it does not align with what you think or what you feel is better. But we want women to act in wisdom and where they need to cover their heads they need to cover them with wisdom and with grace not coming out as if you are trying to fight but you told us the best way because sometimes you foresee the end game and you try to voice it out and of course 
a man being a man they always want to be right or they always want to be acknowledged as the ones who are at the driver's seat mm -hmm. and because of that respect or because of that position sometimes they block anything that you are trying to say as sensitive as it may be yeah. and we ask ourselves what is the position then we are supposed to take so that we are able to shield them and to shield our family and the purpose that which we have been called for and you told us it is intercession yes and we get back there the point of intercession mm -hmm. you know to intercede is like to come in between and you're not coming in between as per se to block to block anything mm -hmm. but to call on the name of the lord mm -hmm. One of the things we run from the Bible is that whoever calls on the name of the Lord shall be saved. Mm. And I'm also thinking of this position where you have a head, then the head has a head. Normally what happens is if someone is in authority and you try to, to like show them sense and they like don't see it, you don't go to the juniors to tell them the heads of the department can't see sense. Mm. The best way to go it is like to the go head. to the higher, higher head. Mm -hmm. And for a man, as the Bible says, Christ is the head of the man. Mm -hmm. And the man is the head of the home, of the home or the wife. Mm. And so most of the times we tend to go horizontal. We, instead of looking vertically and seeing what is the other place I can voice this up. Mm. And so when it comes to intercession mm. for a woman, mm. it is like you're, 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 in, you're standing in between because the man is negotiating his life with God mm. and he's the one who should point his family to God. Mm. If they are not able to point, if the head doesn't point them up, Mm. Then the neck should pray, as they call it, <laughs> although that's not what God really mm. meant when he created man and woman. Mm. It's like the woman should know where else can I go. And the way, the easier way is the up the way. The vertical way. Is the up way. It's not like going to the children and or going them, this way. Or going to my sister and my mother and my father and mm. trying to tell them, convince this guy. Mm. Before it gets there, speak to God. Always be ready to speak to God about your family. Mm. Always be ready to commit everything about your husband to God. And I, it, it helps a great deal mm. because he's the maker. He's the one who formed this dust and then breathed his breath to have life. Mm. He's the one who has a manual. He knows where the buttons are to be touched and switch everything mm. and change things and make them become. Mm. And so I would s consistently and uh, persuasively tell every woman, mm. if you're in a family setup, and things really are not working mm. before you can get helped if it gets to the worst because then we cannot tell the woman just sit there and let them, let things just happen if you've prayed about it prayed about it and you see like nothing is changing that's when we will tell you please look for somebody else to hold your hand but before you get there you have prayed and you, even when you're going out to seek help, you pray and ask, whom shall I shall seek I? Yeah. help from? Mm. Yes. Mm. Yeah. So it is very, very essential mm. that women learn how to pray like the Bible talks in mm. Jeremiah 9, mm. 17, mm. that go call the wailing women mm. and ask them also to train their daughters. Mm. So women are objects of prayer. Mm. Yes, wow. and our battles are won in the kneeing place, like you saw with this woman, yes. Abigail. Mm. Yes, like you also see yeah. Hannah did mm -hmm. when mm -hmm. every end stopped working for her, she ran, she ran into to the temple mm. and cried to God. Mm. So it calls us to be prayerful mm. and not pray with our own 
the, the selfish intentions, intentions yes. or emotionally as yeah. you know uh, and sometimes we, we, we want God to come and make our way work but we don't allow him to make his way work because at the end of it sometimes uh, and I love the direction which we are taking with this conversation because we have found um, a lot of women are in spaces of mess, in spaces of disappointment, in spaces of pain because they are dealing with different issues in their family setup, in their relationship, they are going through struggles and um, most of the time we fail and I'm not saying this is this is cast on stone or I'm not condemning you as a woman but when things are not working this is what I have learned even from my own experience mm. when things are not working mm. we want to point fingers at it is because of it is because of mm. it is because of mm. we are so consumed in trying to put to hang the blame on something someone anything but not ourselves and sometimes it is because in the heat of the moment in that space mm -hmm. we forgot to look up yeah and we went this way mm -hmm. we either went in, to our circles of friends and they were also dealing with their own issues and here they are speaking all kinds of, of, of uh, I, I, I don't take this, I don't take that. If I was in you, I would not, I would, you know. And it fills our minds with decisions that are not really ours. They're actually influenced by other people's situation that you have no clue or you have nothing to do with your own. Mm -hmm. And by the time we start looking up, yeah. uh, mm -hmm. Now, so wakasema, maji ya kimuagika haya zoleki. But I thank God because we have platforms like this when we can actually have such conversations that will cause us to go look at this mirror. Mm -hmm. Yeah, the Bible, the Word of God. This is the greatest mirror that I have come to realize that sometimes when you look at the mirror and and the other mirror can be very false because we can put on makeup, lipstick, fingertips and we are looking all together lovely and you know, like we want to rock it. But inside we have completely forsaken and it is we build our family from inside out i'm glad uh, that we are we are we are conversing and we are we are reminded that when you go back to that place uh, where god breathes his life to you when you go back to the greatest mirror which is the word of god you your eyes begin to open as the woman and sometimes you become the savior of situations in your family mm -hmm. or decisions that have gone bad when you rely on God instead of relying on counsels, other people's counsel. Because I have realized uh, in the age of the reality shows, in the age of comparisons, in the age of uh, social media that they want to portray, mine rocks the news, mine is working. Mm -hmm. uh, and um, <sighs> allow me just to say this, I, I have a group of girlfriends, we have a group of uh, girlfriends we do fellowship with. And what I love about these girls is that we are so real about life issues. Mm -hmm. This is where we come without our makeup, without the masks, and we become real. Like, 
to the point of a girlfriend would say if they had fallen last week in one way or the other, they would be comfortable just to, to say, but then after church, can we meet? I fell flat on this area. <laughs> we, we, we just have conversations around that. And I think it's about time that people, or we as women, removed the masks and removed the makeup and we went in front of the mirror. Not with uh, the cliche, mm -hmm. but if you can actually have accountability partners. You're good. Yes. Who will reflect on the word of God mm -hmm. to find answers for whatever predicaments that you are in, for whatever spaces that you are in. Not girlfriends that will tell you, hey, me are the garibu. <laughs> and they do mm -hmm. No. Mm -hmm. If we can get answers from this greatest mirror. And this, I think, even as we look, we, to, tonight we have looked uh, in, in, in the circle of relationship. Even at the beginning, in the journey before you enter into that covenant, if we are to have accountability and friends around us, that we can actually be telling each other the truth that is reflected on the word of God. The best man, the best woman. And that would help a lot of us women from the heartaches and the pains that we have gone through or that we would have gone through. Yes. And therefore, I love the fact, the point that you have brought that after she complained, after she ran load, and after she went back to the house of bread to the house of praise her eyes began to open up to opportunities and moments and she forgot about the complaining and the memory and she went into action yes she went into action and that is what backed the beauty of the life of ruth which we see many years along that lineology because Ruth decided, okay, what has happened, has happened. I am back to my father's land. I am back to the house of bread. I am back to the house of praise. And this is what God has presented. This girl who is in my care has been brought not for me, for her just to go collect food stuff. And actually, I can beautify her life for the future. And I love that point mm -hmm. because in the next episode, we are going to look at how you can arise from the complaining and the murmuring of your situation and your circumstances and arise and seize the moment for the glory of God. Yes. Seize the moment. Seize the moment. Exactly. I am so blessed, Mama. I'm so blessed. And some of these conversations are so enriching, you have no idea. And sometimes we speak, and then after when we listen in, they, it builds us. And I thank God that we have such a platform to speak to you and with you. And I hope that you have been blessed. And let us keep on praying. Let us keep on interceding for yourself as a woman because you have a great calling in every space and every aspect of this life so that you may arise and bring glory to god because that is what you are called to thank you so much for tuning in until next time god bless you <music>